Like, I read one to two sentences. Let's see if this works. Kendrick. We're doing this! Again! Well, honestly, I just felt like breaking out all, all the whips because I'm trying to fix something and without giving too much away i'm trying to thread my sewing machine and i've done it once before i've done it with the black thread but really trying to teach myself how to do it like subconsciously like yes no i didn't just wake up but yes my hair is like this do i intend to fix it in any way shape or manner no why because i have work today and i will fix my hair up for work because i have time in the beninging part of the day i'm gonna put myself in a position where i could put time into my crap aka fashion designing but i'm still at basic level one and i'm still learning like the basic things I'm, i have really big dreams i have really big goals in the way the way i just need to start simple it's square one which is figuring out how to do this okay you know how i feel about giving you access to my feet we're not doing that what i do want to do focus on putting this together now honestly this is the right color that i'm looking for and i don't have like a matching thread like this type of thread to match with the bobbin the little kit that my grandma supplied me with only came with these and I can kind of match it up if I go maybe darker. Let me see. Let me see if it's not supposed to be. Honestly, I might have better luck with just keeping it black. Or maybe, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. Let's try it. But it's not the worst thing in the world if I learn how to do something from scratch. Learn how to do it. Get into it. What's kind of <laughs> pressing me right now is how dusty my sewing machine is. Sewing machine? Because that's how long it's been sitting in the corner of my room. And I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my god. You are gonna piss me I feel like I should talk about something. Um, life lately. Honestly, life, it's getting to the point where I feel uncomfortable to talk about anything. Not because I'm particularly uncomfy, but because a lot of anything that is to be said right now at this point, 2024, it's just everything will lead into everything else that's being too real, that should be said, that we should talk about, but it's just a lot going on that nobody wants to talk about, but it's kind of odd because what else is there to talk about? The real answer is that there's nothing to talk about. Other than what's really happening, what's really going on. Give me a sec, I really need to look up how to throw at the bobbin. Inserting a bobbin in a drop-in bobbin machine. This machine really will- Hush, you did your part. Oh, not, um, Mr. Producer. The way they make this seem so straightforward and it's actually just not. Is that a gnat in my sewing machine? That is literally gross. How Dare it not work out in my favor. Hibernating in there. And it's a freaking Airbnb. Anyways. Oh, you want to see what it looks like? Well, not in this shot. I'll just... I'll just screen record it for you. That was... That was destructive. I don't know why I felt the need to... Where's the documentation, ma'am? The most frustrating part is that I know I'm not stupid. I just need to understand it the way my brain physically understands it. And then I'll have it. And then I don't have to feel dumb. But part of the process is feeling dumb. Like, girl. And I'm so used to being Little Miss Perfect that I rarely get the opportunity. The opportunity to even put it in order with me. As far as my channel, I've been somewhat hard on myself for not getting videos out on the timely, like on the deadline that I was trying to put myself on. It's not that anybody was rushing me or like I didn't feel like I was good enough or I was doing my job right. Or even the fact that I was even getting overwhelmed with the fact that I had like what essentially is basically a full-time job for me. I did intend to get a part-time job, but that part-time job ended up being a lot more full-time, if that makes sense. 
because I definitely don't have like like a regular schmegula desk job, which I don't even know how one is supposed to get. Even with the college degree, that's just an expensive piece of paper to me, but an expensive piece of paper, I guess sets me apart to be in my very minimal wage theft have an ass job, bro. Like, and the goal with that, and people ask me all the time, like, okay, well, what's my plan with it then? I'm feeling, I want to say another year. Like, respectfully, another year. But at the same time, like, I'm gonna hit my one year mark at this job. And honestly, I, ooh, girl, that was not it. What did that even do? <laughs> Do I cry now or later? This is the first time I've had a job for longer than like, I think my longest job I had before this was seven months. So that's nice and impressive. You look a very big girl. But at the same time, it's like, damn another year but i think it was most important for me to like get the sense of like where i'm really headed with everything what's realistic in terms of like what i need to do for my life where i think i need to be and how i want to organize myself to attempt to get to that it's just a lot of stuff going on like i frankly believe that a lot of people's situation is gonna heavily depend on where they're currently like physically able to like handle right now and right now i'm in the position where i can afford to make some mistakes not too many <laughs> too many but I definitely am allowed some leeway when it comes to like as far as my finances I know not everyone in my peer group is really you know getting that <laughs> getting that little leeway and who knows for real like I could be putting myself in a more financially vulnerable position because I'm doing it the way I'm doing it Ugh, and it's still not catching yeah I just consider myself lucky in the sense that I can see a path from where I'm currently standing in my current situation but I'm definitely actively working on like a plan out you know as far as like planning like far far in advance i really can't see myself doing that at this time because of just how really brazy the world is currently and not to say i'm like letting my financial future and future in general depend on like the political state of the world or what we're doing or what new technology might take me out of a job or whatever i honestly couldn't care about that stuff like if i'm really being really honest but at the same time i do I'm too afraid to put any of my eggs in a singular basket. Not that I have too many eggs to really disperse around multiple baskets, you know? I want to properly start investing my time and money. The current market we're in, like, the market just took a huge dip. I'm like, oh, <laughs> the investment plan that I was going to use is like my savings? don't know about that anymore but at the same time i'm young enough to where even if i do make a mistake now i don't really have to be tripping like i really don't and i take full appreciation in the fact that i don't have to stress right now i don't necessarily have to be triggered in the sense of like needing to make rent and needing to have all these things my biggest goal right now is really savings and that's just general savings for everything Savings for a house, savings for a better car, savings for my financial futures, savings for literally everything. And it's nice to see like little by little, paycheck by literal paycheck, it sort of grow. But at the same time, it's so discouraging because of how, not like how long I've been in the game, because I really like, on a scale of time, baby, I'm baby. All right, I'm a noob still. I'm very much, I'm just a girl. And honestly, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the process of like needing or even like allowing my 20s to be like ability to grow. <gasps> oh wait, we might have done something. Or maybe I made it get stuck. Maybe I'm out of luck. Right now I'm pretty focused on not letting people in general, especially strangers, warp my idea of what it means to be a grown adult. I feel like that's my generation's actually biggest problem right now is that they're so focused on being seen as an adult and being treated and being viewed and you know getting all the accolades of like what they would have assumed being an adult would have meant by now for them. You know people are making drastic drastic life choices to just you know prove to themselves or even like people around them that they're an adult like respect me as such and the sad part is that's that's the con babes that's the scam you're feeling left out you're feeling like not an adult because listen misery loves company i can't imagine a world where i put myself in that position where i'm not truly happy in the position i am i'm sacrificing but to what extent like i just simply will not be 
not let myself be led astray because I fear that I'm not adult enough, if that makes sense. Yes, I'm watching another video. We are going to catch the bob and thread. Did you want to focus on me or did you want to focus on what I'm doing? Because I'm struggling. But you can watch me struggle. It's fine. We're having fun, I think. But yeah, life is, it's definitely lifing. I'm learning as I go. Um, recently my intentions, just in general, like, I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous videos. I probably mentioned it in passing. My latest intentions that I've been setting for the day has been to manage stress. Like, I get overwhelmed. I get anxious fairly easily. Not enough to be like diagnosed or nothing, but definitely enough to like kind of throw me off my game if I'm not really aware that I'm like almost sort of tweaking. Like, relax. It's just the job, Scott. You don't need this your whole life to be focused on this. You can, you can relax, Scott. Everything's a choice. And for me, I'm enjoying that part. I'm enjoying the fact that I want to do the things I want to do. You're convinced that if you don't choose something now, then you'll never get to choose nothing ever. People really be scared that it's like the now or never type of time. Realizing that this ain't gonna be like two days worth the struggle. This ain't gonna be two weeks worth the struggle. This might be two years. Honestly, if I'm still struggling like this after two years, bro, I just need to, <laughs> I need to outsource assistance. Also, knowing when to ask for help, bro. I'm so bad at asking for help because I just feel like I'm supposed to be so girl boss. I don't like being in a position where I need men's help or I need anyone's help. It don't even matter. And the crazy part is that this thread is so fragile. Just like me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like I see too many people giving up on their dreams too prematurely and it I'm not I'm not gonna go as far as say it affects me because I'll still fight for me I still will choose me but at the same time it gives me less esteem to use because I'm feeling more and more alone and not in the sense of like oh the loneliness epidemic no I will take this job apart just to see what this even what this even is because what even is this but yeah, slowly watching all my peers kind of not give up on their dreams because some of them will be like, like, I'm not giving up. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to focus on this and then end up doing something, being in that very temporary position for like way too long, getting comfortable and really giving up on making an escape plan. And honestly, I feel in my opinion, as long as you still have the escape plan in mind, there's an escape plan being escaped. Really, you're doing what you can. The only thing that's making me do is push beyond and grow more and expand without the expectation that the people around me are gonna be there forever. The people around me are gonna be faced with similar and even like, you know, in their own direct way, the same challenges and they have to perform themselves. Like, they're gonna feel alone too. They're gonna feel that pressure to choose too. And some people, some people be point blank be choosing right then, right there. For some, it'll happen subtly for some there will be no cap in the rap bro like they, they they like that for real they like that for real and i don't think there's anything wrong with having a kid or nothing like that especially if that's the life you like truly want at the end of the day i'm happy for all my homies that have kids right now and i wouldn't even take it personally that i don't even talk to them like that no more because you know you just you're just you're playing a different game on a different mode they'll be mad because you want to do battle royale and i'm trying to do um no build like one is not better than the other gang i just don't like to build yes i got the light under my chin because i'm struggling so bad <laughs> and i keep trying to go back to youtube to like find somebody who can show me how to do this and i've done this before but it's just been so long since i picked up crap of mine that I want so bad to learn how to do. You would think I would have a lot more to say. I don't. I'm just a girl in the world. Bro, are you just not trying? Like, come on now. And with that, you gotta build up a tolerance of life not being what you expected type energy. Like, you really gotta be able to push through, like, significant things changing in your life. Like, yeah, it's gonna be a really tough position to see my friends not succeed in the way that I'm succeeding. Or accomplishing the things that I'm able to accomplish. And social media does not help, bro. Social media is the best place to affect your success. And that's so sad because the whole environment of social media and the timeline of it all will make you feel like, oh my god, 
oh my friends are doing this they're so successful they're doing this they're doing that they're doing a third and it's like bro you have no idea what their life is like come on now they could be going through the worst time in their life right now and just because you're not behind the scenes you would have no clue i know too many too many personal friends of mine who are actually depressed some of them quiet about it some of them not so quiet about it but like you know the struggle be real and the most i could do for them is hop on a game of apex hop on a game of fortnite with them on the rare occasion that even i have the time that lines up with their time and schedule to play a round of fortnite yes indeed to play a round of mortal kombat x games no you know he just really depressed bro he don't leave the house he got a whole situation going on with his family right now. He's on the verge of having no place to live right now. Should I keep that in? Because I could be talking about multiple people. <laughs> I just hate my friends are in this position. Also, my female friends, I don't know. My female friends, they be going through a lot too. And I can respect when, when a bitch be on her shit, bro, she, she really be on her shit, you know? And I hate seeing the very powerful women that I know just get the dog shit just beat out of them in life. Cause these be the women that like have a lot going for them and maybe it's not going a particular way for them, but they still like pushing, they still hustling. And it's like a respectable like woman thing that, oh, did that shit work? Or did I just fumble the bag again? Hell no, look like I'm fumbling that shit on my regular. <sighs> and it's like, yeah, I miss my friends, but I'm gonna miss my future way better. Way more bad than I ever will. Somebody that I kinda knew in high school. Somebody that I really gotten to know in college. And now we live on two opposite sides of the country. Babes, I don't know what to tell you. Here's what I do know so far. It's not worth getting. Oh my god. This shit is knotted up at the freaking tip, bro. Come on. I just want to learn how to be a fashion designer. <sighs> is this what square one feels like? Because it's kind of funny because I know we're all living like this. No one literally has it better than you or no one's life is really that perfect. Even if on the outside they look like they got everything, bro, you never know. Folks can be struggling with so many different things. It'd be hard to keep up, like legitimately. I don't even be keeping up with folks' birthdays, let alone their intricate struggles. That's why social media, again, be the downfall because how am I supposed to keep up with you if I can't just scroll through your highlight reels on social media? That's why, bro, I really don't be on Instagram. I really do not be on Instagram. One, because it's full with people who just, it's, it's one, a place for connection, and I can get that and respect that. But at the same time, people just want something. And if they feel like they can get it from you, they definitely will ask for your Instagram. And not to say that there isn't anything I could share with people. There isn't anything that I can gain from people. I know you're not indicating that I'm just turning this the wrong way. I will throw a pissy fit if that's the case. You said anti-clockwise? Girl, I don't know time. Oh my god! What did that fucking work? Oh my god. Why was that the solution? <sighs> what was I even talking about, bro? That made me lose my train of thought. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I lucky wanna be pissed off that that took me that long to figure out. Like, I read one to two sentences. Let's see if this works. Win, 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 win. For everything else. Win, 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 win. You either win me or against me, huh? Bam, bam, ba -dum, bam, bam, ba -dum. Oh my god. Girl, tell me why it was that simple. Okay, now riddle me this. What are these? Would you say I should read the instructions if I'm so down bad into figuring out what this does? Well, girl. Bam, bam, ba -dum, bam, bam, bam. 